him because we won the national championship. There's something you need to understand in the good times and the bad. I may not be at all of your weddings, but I'll be there for the bad stuff. The movie is My Many Sons. It is the inspiring and true story of legendary basketball coach, longtime Lipscomb basketball coach, Don Meyer. It's out. It's a movie that you guys can find now out there in the interwebs, things like that, or if you go to Walmart, you can pick it up today as well. The producers of the movie, Casey Bond, Brad Wilson, our guest tonight here on Sportsline. Judd Reinhold is a guy that a lot of people know as a comedic actor, but man, in a serious role, I thought, from what I know about Don Meyer and the stories I've heard, I thought he was terrific mm -hmm. yeah. in that. Yeah, he really, he really pulled it off, and like Brad was saying over the break, um, he is known as a comedic actor, but the second day on set when we were filming, he came up and said, this is, this is the best role that he's ever had. As far as, you know, an actor wants to sink his teeth into sure. something, and this was totally different than he'd ever been given an opportunity to do before. So I think that he really took to that and wanted to show he could do some dramatic acting. How did you guys know to sink your teeth into him, a guy who hadn't really had a role like that before, but obviously could? Well, I think it was just sort of a, a, a feeling we had. Uh, his agent actually submitted him for the for the project, and uh, Casey and I said, "Well, it could backfire because he is a comedic actor, or it could work, and we could be geniuses, you know." <laughs> but it's like a lot of times those comedic actors are interesting in drama, like God rest mm -hmm. his soul, you know, Robin Williams. Man, when he did drama, it was sure. terrific. So luckily, we took a chance, and it worked. Certainly did. It, it is an inspiring message, and he delivers it pretty darn well, I would say. The other interesting thing, especially when we talk about My Many Sons, all the people who are involved in the movie, it's interesting. The character Hutch in the movie is obviously Philip Hutchinson, who's the Lipscomb athletic director now, is a former player during the, the glory days at Lipscomb under Don Meyer. But maybe the most interesting is one of the stories you guys really go in depth on is the story of Pete Froden, a young man who ends up going to play for Coach Meyer at Lipscomb. And the real Pete Froden is actually in the movie. He doesn't play himself a few years later, mm -hmm. obviously now, but he's actually in the movie. How did that come about? It was just pretty cool. I, you know, I got to know Pete pretty well, and he was always a huge advocate of this film because Coach Meyer had a huge impact in his life. And he actually coaches at Centennial High School now mm -hmm. uh, here in town. But basically, he just he was in Illinois at the time, and he, uh, he wanted to come down and be a part of this and really help any way he could. And it was mainly sort of like an advisor, really, mm -hmm. uh, to judge and just getting all the aspects of Coach Meyer right, the, the, from the camps uh, to the different ways he would do things. And so we were happy to have Pete come down and, hey, we had a role and, and uh, we thought this could be a really cool thing. You know, it's always fun as a filmmaker to put those those little kind of hidden gems in there about, sure. well, there's, there's Pete and he's actually talking to Pete himself uh -huh. earlier. <laughs> and, and so it, it was a... It was, it was a really cool thing to, to get to do. Yeah, and that's that exactly what several people in the audience said last night when the real Pete Froden showed up on camera for the first time. They said, there's Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's Pete, but that's also that's Pete. That's true. You know? right. and, and that is kind of the gem you talked about in yeah. there. And when you talk about characters, Casey, I'm interested from this perspective of you, as you mentioned a little bit earlier, You've been in a bunch of different films. You were in the movie Moneyball, I think probably most famously in your career at this point. But you've spent a lot of time now trying to find projects for higher purpose entertainment and, mm -hmm. and really good inspirational stories. What's maybe the difference for you between sinking your teeth in as an actor and playing Chad Bradford, the, the sidearm right-hander for the Oakland Athletics, or kind of being behind the scenes and kickstarting a project like this and, and especially in this project where you're doing both at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had that question a lot as far as, uh, you know, so what do you like better, acting or producing? And it's really a 50-50 thing because as an actor, you know, um, you can't really find a role to sink your teeth into, kind of almost be somebody who you're not in a way and, and that's real fun and interesting and, and as a producer you kind of have more control of 
the content that you're actually doing and, and wanting to develop and I think that you're putting a lot more time in as a producer too because you know it took us a couple years to get the whole thing together get the script write it raise the, the funds and do all that um, so honestly I, I really love doing both and they present a different thing but they both have that art side of it which is what I really you know like myself too so I'm gonna ask you a sports question there then uh -huh. You're a baseball player. Uh -huh. What's the closest feeling in doing this to hitting a home run and mm -hmm. rounding the bases? Oh man, question. hitting That's a home run. <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, man, that is really tough. I, I think that uh, I mean the closest thing to that is probably when you really do have somebody across from you that you're able to interact with as an actor and really have a moment, you know, as we'd like yeah. to say. And you just know that all right, that we did something real there. Um, I think that's probably the closest thing to maybe hitting a home run from the acting side and from the producing side it's it's really to get to kind of do what we did last night you have the premiere for you know a world premiere for a movie you just did and know that there's gonna be so many people who are gonna see this that you might not meet and that's I mean that's pretty cool you don't realize till you get to the end I think um, uh, how much work it's gonna take and, and who it might impact but I think that's a, a home run. To get any movie done is, is an accomplishment, miracle, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm prejudiced, but I thought he was terrific in the movie. I thought he did a great job. I, 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 thought, you, I thought so, too, playing a difficult role, as we yeah. talked about earlier, playing someone that I'm sure Jerry Myers probably seen it already, probably seen it many times before. He's probably going to critique you pretty hard on whether you did him any justice or not. Well, I oh, can yeah. tell you, we, we uh, screened the movie and uh, for different people, and Jerry was at one of the screenings, and afterwards he said, that's a good movie. And he said, but the only thing, Casey's better looking than me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice compliment, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll take it, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> as, uh, as, as you look back on last night, and really this whole process, because... Casey, as I think we mentioned earlier on the show, you and I met on this show mm -hmm. about two years ago, maybe a little less than that now, as this idea was just sort of first coming about and you're looking into the funding and, and trying to find the right people to get this done. Mm -hmm. When you get to a night like last night and the whole thing essentially comes full circle and reaches the finish line, so to speak, how rewarding was that moment? You know, it, we were just talking about that a little bit, and it, is, it was very uh, rewarding, but I think the biggest thing with this is, I mean, we make these movies for a purpose, you know, hence our company's name. Mm -hmm. And so my biggest thing was I just wanted to let people know that we wanted them to get something out of it. And honestly, this is going to be a big grassroots type of thing. I wanted them to share about how can they get this out to other people. And that's definitely on Facebook. You know, we have a fan page. It's My Many Sons. And on Twitter, the handle is at Don Meyer Movie. And so I think uh, the real reward would be for people to like it so much that they want to share it with other people because I think that's how it's really going to get out there. And uh, that's the relationships really uh, is, is the most important, I think, part of this movie and you know just making a film we we're right. talking about it's almost sad when something's yeah. over that you've worked so hard on with all these people um, but that's what really I think I I cling to the most and is the biggest reward is just having relationships with people. Oh, by the way, Steve, if I may, mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to say we uh, used a Nashville crew to make the movie, and uh, it was the first time that we had worked with most of the people, and they were terrific. They were Excellent. just terrific, and, and uh, I think we made some lasting friendships, and certainly we want to do more films here, and uh, our plan is to work with a lot of those people. Well, My Many Sons is an inspirational story, and I think it left a lasting impression with a lot of people like myself who were in the audience last night at the premiere at Lipscomb. I think it'll do that the same with viewers coming up in the future and a lasting Thank legacy you. for you guys and obviously Don Meyer as well. we got to take our final break. We'll come back wrap things up right after this.